Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. I have tried to do this intro like 30 27 times, times. A lot. Because it's just been kind of crazy over here and I felt like I needed a video on my channel to kind of to catch you up on the past two weeks. You guys have known for a few months now that we have been planning on moving and up until two weeks ago we didn't know the exact when. Um, we are relocating for Dave's job and we we're from California. We are currently now in Washington and a lot has happened in the past two weeks since we found out the official date. So we're just going to kind of walk you through what the past two weeks have been like. We have some clips that I've filmed along the way that I will put in here as well. We were originally going to vlog the two weeks leading up to here, but it was chaos. It was chaos. There was a lot happening. There was a lot of stress and there was a lot of unexpected things that have happened that made it really difficult for us to kind of justify filming everything. Um, so we are just here to fill you in on what's what's happening in our lives. Starting off about two weeks ago, February 15th, day after Dave's birthday, um, we got the official date. And we knew that it was going to be after February 1st, but we didn't know the when at all. Um, right. So we got the official call that we were moving and they had only given us a 10 day window. <laughs> it went from, hi, we'll schedule the appointment to come look at all the stuff in your house to, oh, by the way, we're scheduling your move on these two dates. Mm -hmm. So we only had 10 days pretty much to do everything and it was a lot. Mm. <laughs> um, so yeah, we originally had already done a little bit of like decluttering. We had a yard sale. Um, we've done a lot of just like prep work as far as we could up until knowing the official date because obviously we can't like do anything about utilities we can't do anything about listing our house until we knew when we were leaving and so then when we found out the date it was kind of just like all things going it went from zero <laughs> to 100 in about two seconds yeah yeah um, we have i think some clips of us like decluttering our closet which was funny because when we originally thought we were just like oh we'll probably have a couple things that we like stragglers we got rid of a lot of clothes we did get our own yeah. um yeah so it's things that we hadn't even used since we moved into our house which was three years prior um there were some things that i mean we're now living in the pacific northwest where the climate's a lot different and so a lot of summer clothes and i mean we kept some summer clothes but i feel like we got rid of a lot of the Excess. You also found Everett clothes that you didn't I know did. that you had. I found a whole bin of clothes that were just like warm sweaters. sweaters and sweatshirts. And I was like, this is the best because I didn't have to really go buy anything. Still need some things, but it wasn't as bad as I was expecting. I had an appointment where someone came in and like surveyed our stuff. It was a virtual appointment. So we had this like virtual call where Dave walked around, showed him every single drawer, every single door, all the furniture. We measured a couple things for them just so they can see how many movers they need, how much time they needed. They originally said that they were gonna need two days. Yeah. And then the day before they were like, oh well, we only need one day to pack and load. Yeah. <laughs> so we're having meetings with realtors, which is from up here and where we are selling our house. We had a meeting with our lender um, for the purchase up here. And then we had to book a couple things that were for fixes of our house. So we had like to book a plumber. We had to have an arrangement with our gardener to like spruce up the place for pictures. So it was a lot of just like- And a cleaner. And a cleaner. Um, so lots of paperwork, lots of just like booking appointments, getting all the logistics together. We really couldn't do much of the packing of our stuff. No, we couldn't pack at all. No. No, um, because they have to insure it if it's packed by them and it's not insured if we pack it. When we were going through all of this, um, we had a very unexpected Saturday. Um, we started the day doing errands. We had gone to Home Depot. We were going to Target. And when we came home from Target, Ziggy, our 23-year-old cat, um, was not doing well. And we had seen him decline for a while I mean, he's a 23 year old cat. And so um, he was not doing well. He was having a really hard time standing. Um, he was having a lot of bathroom issues. Couldn't clean himself. Couldn't clean himself. Um, and when we saw him after Target, when he'd come home, he literally was having a hard time just getting up from the couch. Yeah. So, so we did have to say goodbye to Ziggy, um, which it sucked. sucked. <laughs> um, obviously he's been with us since We've been together. He was originally Dave's mom's cat, and he was such a good boy, but he wouldn't have been able to make it much longer. Yeah. Um, maybe a week. This would have been tough on him. 
I don't, I don't, I don't, even I don't know that think he would have made it. I don't think he would have even made it to the moving date the way that he was going. Yeah. Um, and so we came to Washington as a two cat household. Um, so that was just like an added stress, stress yeah. and just. It was a downer. It was. A, I mean, in in a time where we were trying to just get ready to go, like we couldn't even like focus on that because mm -hmm. in the back of our head it was like we just had to say goodbye to Ziggy. And yeah. It was, it was a real bummer. Yeah. Yeah. So like each day we would be like I feel like a little brain dead. Yeah. So we just like really focused on like tasks mm -hmm. because it was just like all right, what room are we tackling today? We like tackle the kitchen and like get things together. We tackle the guest room because that was the room we were going to put the cats in when the movers came so we were like clearing that out so i feel like we were very like task oriented just so we didn't have to deal with the emotions deal with the emotions although yeah. we, i feel like both of us we've even said before it was going to happen right that um we weren't obviously we were going to be sad but he was old he was a 23 was old. year old cat <laughs> i mean he lived a dang good life yeah and had a lot of mileage on him yeah you know going from maine to california to mississippi so we to took california, california to I mean, back up to technicula and right. it's just like <clears throat> Um, we knew this past Christmas, it was going to be his last Christmas. And then when we came back from our vacation, that's when we really saw the decline and yeah, yeah. He had a rough time while we yeah. were on vacation. Yeah. yeah. So that happened. And then we had movers come on the 23rd. Third? Third? Yeah. Whatever that Thursday was. Yeah. So the 23rd is when the movers came. Um, there was four of them. They packed up the whole house. In they, three and a half in hours. three and a half hours. Um, they had gone around. And they were just like, oh, wow, you don't have a lot of stuff. And we're like, nope. <laughs> um, and so they packed it up really quickly. I've had a few people ask about how the puzzles are doing. <laughs> um, so when they saw oh, no. so when they saw our my puzzle room, they were kind of just like, oh, this is a lot. Um, no idea. Not having high hopes for our pirate ship. I, had saw, I still can't believe they tried to I, move that. I can't believe they tried to move it. Um, if you are new, the pirate ship was like this big, massive, cubic, 3D fun, puzzle. 3D puzzle that's like cardboard. And I remember even... I him, guarantee that's going right in the trash. <laughs> I guarantee they were, it. The person who was packing it also like asked a couple others, like, what am I doing with this? So, they we'll see. Asked us. We'll see. Because we, we could have been like, you know, guys, you can just may not, let it go. I mean, if it arrives safely, that'd be very impressive. But I'm not holding my breath. Uh -huh. um, as far as the other puzzles... I had put in baggies and had them in their boxes. I'm not sure how well that plan is because <laughs> we did find after they packed that room random random pieces. pieces on the so floor. I I'm not I don't know. I'll say the new puzzle will be fine because they're bagged and I hopefully the puzzles that I bagged are fine. There may be a few that we have the pieces that fell out. I just don't know which puzzles those go to right at the top of my head. So we'll see. We'll <laughs> see. Um, but luckily, I do have that full box here that I've already done two of. And if you missed that video, I'll link it down below. But it's like a pack with me, the puzzles I'm having here. Um, and so Is that two drawers? Yeah. yeah. So we will still have content on this channel for puzzles. I have plenty of puzzles to do. And I actually, yesterday, we found a new puzzle store. Mm. It's in the mall next door. Yeah. We happened to stumble upon it because we were just like walking by. We saw a bunch of games and toys. Yeah, and we saw the games first. Right. And then I like, opened the door and I was like, oh, and there's just like a huge puzzle area. So yeah. I'm excited. I'm she was in heaven been... and I was like, oh, there goes my mom. I was, well, I, I was I'm surprised I didn't get anything then. But I was like, I am too. I have so many that I brought with us and I don't want to like, just like add to the collection. More so, stuff to move into our house when we move. Back to the timeline Thursday, the 23rd, they okay. packed up our stuff. They loaded it onto, onto the truck. We were told that it was going to take two days. Yeah. And then they did it in one. And then they did it in just a few hours. So then we were like, well, if we had known you were going to pack all our stuff up, we would have planned the physical move sooner. <laughs> well, we would have left. We would have left Friday. Friday. Yeah. Um, and maybe have beaten that snowstorm. Right. I know. And so Thursday, they packed up our stuff. We cleaned the house a little bit. Um, Friday, we... We're just like in an empty house. <laughs> we had like one room of stuff that needed to be like packed up, which is the stuff that was bringing with us to temporary housing. All of our car stuff. Yeah. And then um, other than that, we were kind of just like, what do we do? We, um, we cleaned a lot. We cleaned a lot. We threw out a lot. We had canceled our cable for that day. And so we didn't have any um, internet. No internet. That, <laughs> so, that sucked. That sucked. Because um, we don't have very good service at our house. So 
Uh, we were just... Yeah, we went from 5G Wi-Fi to one little bar of 4G yeah. LTE. And then that Friday, we also had my car get picked up. We had someone come up to pick some tr like junk stuff up mm -hmm. that um, we couldn't either sell at the yard sale or things that just like... Oh, our one and only chair. Our one and only <laughs> chair. Um, so we sat on the floor a lot mm -hmm. <laughs> that day. And we had an air mattress to sleep on. So that was our house the, the last 48 hours. was pretty much completely empty besides what we were bringing with us. Yeah. So then Saturday came. Hit the road. <laughs> um, Friday night, we were both kind of concerned of our drive. Because we were watching the weather. Because we were watching the weather. And if you've seen any national news at this point, uh, California got hit with a pretty big snowstorm. And it just so happened to be the weekend that we were leaving. And so Dave was watching his, like, what was it, Google Maps? I was watching Google Maps, and then I was also watching, like, the news. To see, like the best route to go. And if you've been in Temecula, there's really only like one route in and out, which is the 15. So we kept seeing that like that road was going to be closed. And then we saw that the five was going to be closed. And there's a few other just like smaller highways that were going to be closed through this mountain pass that's in LA. And so we were very concerned about our drive Friday evening. We were just like, well, we can't really stay in this house really much longer because we have nothing we had nothing to cook with we had not even like plates or utensils and to we eat weren't with. Get paid for per diem or anything yeah. unless we were making forward progress yeah and so we needed we had already talked to day's relocation company to be like we might have to leave and just stop early because of the snowstorm so we were just like at least we won't be in the house but we at least want to make forward progress mm -hmm. um our original goal was to hit sacramento which is about an eight hour drive normally from temecula our first day on Saturday. So Saturday, we packed up the car. We had this overhead thing. We packed up and left, and it was pouring rain in mm -hmm. Temecula. Most of the drive that day was pouring rain. It was rain. pouring rain. And so what sucked is that all those highways were closed, and so everyone was pretty much directed to the 101, which is a much smaller highway. It's a coastal highway. It's a coastal highway. It's beautiful. But everybody but was driving. Everyone was driving it. So it was just stop traffic pretty much the whole time. Yes. Yeah, what well, should have been an eight hour, eight and a half hour trip ended up being 12 and a half hours. Yeah. Yeah. It was a very long day. Yeah. And I feel like that day we were just like so focused on getting to wherever we could, like as far as we could. Like we really didn't stop too much. Like neither of us drank water. We didn't eat much we either. We didn't eat much either. No. We had like a few snacks that I had brought with us, but we were just like so determined to like get as far as we can. Mm -hmm. So we did make it to Sacramento though. We didn't make it to Sacramento at like what ten thirty at night. Yeah, yeah, because we had got the whole time we we're just like trying to get to the five, trying to get to the five. Around seven thirty p.m., we finally got to the five, and that's when we were, I was like full of energy because I was like, yes, we're finally on the right highway. Dave was exhausted, um, but we did end up driving. We made it to Sacramento that day. The cats yeah. were fine. Um, Oliver was a lot the first few hours, um, mm. but I feel like you that was kind of expected. That's expected. We've done longer trips like this where it's like cross country. So we've done ones from Maine to San Diego, San Diego to Mississippi, Mississippi to San Diego. And so we've done it a few times. In usually like the first 40 minutes to an hour, the cats just are a lot, yeah. um, which is why we wanted to drive together. Um, so Oliver was just kind of all over the place, didn't know where to go, panting, like just very stressed. Yeah. Um, and I felt like after a couple hours, he really settled in, found a spot on the box instead of the bed, <laughs> um, and he was fine. And then all Loki was in the litter box. <laughs> Which, yeah, that was his safe spot. That was his safe spot. Emily looked it up, and I guess some cats find that as their safe spot. Yeah, this familiar smell. You know, so he was just behind my seat the whole time. And so Saturday we got to Sacramento. Um, Sunday we drove up to Eugene. Yeah. Eugene, Oregon, which was a really fun drive in the snow. <laughs> um, I, if you saw my little short, had like a little clip. The drive to Eugene was very snowy. Uh, well, the first part was, it seemed like a lot of long straight roads through yeah, almond trees. almond trees. <laughs> which just was also really, it was a beautiful drive, we'll say. That day was a beautiful drive. Yeah. And then we got here to Washington on Monday afternoon. Yep. So we are in this temporary housing until who knows when. Uh, we have 
the essentials with us. We bought a few things that we needed here, like a hamper and um, some cat stuff that we needed for this transition. But now we're here in waitings. That's it in a nutshell. I just felt like there was a lot that's happened in the past few weeks. It happened very quickly. Um, so we are gonna sign off here. I will be posting this soon and probably filming some other videos this weekend. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to Dave for just sitting, sitting behind sitting you. behind me, <laughs> tuning in, <laughs> chiming in on vacation. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll see you very soon. All right, bye.